Next tonight, doctors are warning of a dangerous rise in cases of life-changing nerve damage after ingesting nitrous oxide, better known as NOS, or larvae gas. Now, it's become a popular recreational drug in the last decade and is inhaled through either balloons or canisters. Well, joining me now is Kerry ann Donaldson, who's here to tell us her story, because in January, uh, she was told by doctors that she was paralysed because of taking the drug, and she joins us now. Uh, Kerry ann thank you so much for speaking to Five News about this. What happened exactly? Um, so I was doing balloons occasionally as, um, like just sociably and, um, then I started using it a lot more. Um, I ended up in hospital like two times over it. Um, the second time was this year when, um, I was told that, uh, I had a disc bulge and, and, um, that was pushing on my nerves, causing me not to be able to walk. Um... Sorry, Carrie Ann, mm. do you go on. Yeah, um, and I stayed in hospital for five weeks and then I came out and it's like I've just been getting back to things, trying to walk. How have you been coping? I mean, when I first came out, it was really hard because I was just stuck at home. I couldn't do nothing. I didn't have a wheelchair yet. So it was not like I could really go out. But once I shared my story, it kind of made it more easier because it was like now I can help someone and now I can give advice to someone or and then I did get my wheelchair and I was out a bit more so it became a lot easier. When you say that you're now trying to educate people did, did you know much about the the dangers of taking nitro um, oxide? I would say I was very uneducated um if I did know what I know now I probably wouldn't have wouldn't have done them and if I did I probably wouldn't have done as much because when reading up about your story Kerry and I understand you actually stopped taking the drug two years ago yeah I stopped it um two years ago and I was walking um because my left leg started to go so I thought okay I know I know what's happening it's the b12 again and the nerve damage so I thought I'd stop doing it and I'll just be I'll walk on a crutch and just hopefully it'll get better and I'll get the feeling back <clears throat> but because then like last year at the end of last year I never I had to um have a district nurse coming back in to give me B12 injections. And then this year when I went into hospital, it was like my legs had completely gone. And do you, do you feel that people are responding to, to your warnings, the fact you're going out there just educating people about this? Yeah, because I have had a lot of messages with people like, oh, because I've seen your story, it's made me stop and and... I mean, with everything you do in life, you're going to get a negative and a positive. Um, the positive is I've actually helped people and they come to me for advice, what to do if they're feeling like this and stuff. Well, Kerry ann it is indeed a positive what you are doing. Just so sorry uh, to hear your story. But as I say, just really wonderful that you're trying to help others through this. Okay, yeah. ann Donaldson, so good talking to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.